So Peter, in the world of Canadian football, it doesn't get much bigger than this. Set bladder, a packed press room here on Parliament Hill, an exciting day for Canada. Yeah, very exciting. I mean, it's been a very long process. We started this back really in 2007 when we bid for the 2011 competition. Uh, we worked through the process again, bid again, and uh, were awarded the bid 2011 in March. Uh, since that day, we've been working with each of the candidate bid cities. Really, it's been a process over 18 months. And we're live, we're real today, announcing six official host cities of Vancouver, Edmonton, Winnipeg, Ottawa, Montreal, and Moncton. And so what happens now is that we can move forward with these six cities. And we're real, tangible, and people can get excited now in their communities to know that they're actually hosting a FIFA Women's World Cup 2015. Now, there are venues in place in some venues, others being developed, all kinds of different development going on. How do these cities move forward now as they prepare for 2015? Yeah, they're all in various stages. Some have some beautiful facilities as, you know, Vancouver would be, as we use in January, BC Place. Others are just coming online, uh, such as the City of Ottawa. Others are Winnipeg are just completing their new stadium. So we're very comfortable where we are on the stadium side. Uh, what we're looking to do before the end of the year, look at uh, announce the official emblem, uh, probably working through the competition schedule and then at time, that time releasing what the venues are. So we have, still have a lot of work to do just in this calendar year in terms of some major milestones. In the world of international football, it doesn't get bigger than a FIFA World Cup. Canada will have the honor of hosting one in 2015. Quite simply, what will this mean for Canada? Well, what it means really, first off and foremost, for everybody in our country that they have an opportunity to be a part of it. It's the first competition in our country, probably maybe the last, that's held coast to coast, simultaneously, same time. So anybody from Vancouver all the way through to Moncton has an opportunity to participate. Touch and feel, we like to say, in this competition. It's never happened before, may never happen again, so it's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. With that comes the promotion, the FIFA uh, background in terms of all their support, international clout, international support, uh, our sponsors and Canadian Soccer Association working with each one of the cities to make sure that we have a sellout concept for each and every one of the 52 matches. All right, Peter, exciting stuff for Canadian soccer and thank you for your time. Thank you, Max.